billing insurance right now is the way to do it, right? Because it, if you're not getting paid, then um, you're not billing right <laughs> because everybody's paying for telehealth. Um, it, it's still today. And I, I had somebody reach out and say, no, I don't think they're paying for telehealth. I'm like, no, they really are. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the other thing to really check into on billing insurance is if pre-COVID your state was not paying for telehealth, there's a very good chance they have either changed that legislation or they're working on that. And we're going to talk about some resources for that at the end of this. But um, really, I encourage everybody to stay on top of what their payers are paying, not only for private, but also for Medicaid. Um, there are some options where people say, hey, we're just going to do a flat out, flat out of pocket. Um, and then some practices, depending on the community and the payer, they do um, offer it for free if it's not covered by insurance. From, for the most part here, everybody's paying. Yeah. It's a matter of billing it correctly with the right modifier and place of service. Each payer is different. So you need to know which payer wants to bill which way. And for the most part, they're paying and paying at the same rate as they would as an in-office visit. And if you do that and you won't get denied, but really it's usually telehealth is either a nine, nine, one of the, it's either a new patient, right? Who called in a nine, nine, two, oh, one to two, oh, five, or it's a nine, nine, two, one, one through two, one, five. And a lot of that depends upon which code that is. That depends on the length of the visit, the different things. Um, your billers are experts at that, but that place of service code 02 means the patient is at home. Right. So, and then the modifier is one of those things that depends on your state. So that's where I would encourage you to look on your state. Um, we're going to give some resources at the end that will tell you where to look at that. Um, but if you look at the state, that is where you'll find out whether yours is a 95 or it's a GT. There are, though, a lot of payers that are not using the place of service O2. So you do have to look at your payer contracts. There are some that still want the uh, place of service oh. at 11, still, but, with the G, but with the modifier attached to it. So you have to check each payer. Um, to add to that, um, so part of our workflow is when we call the patient and ask them about their medications and their allergies, on there, it gives us the option of who's doing the telemedicine or who's doing the visit. And at the bottom, it says location of patient and location of um, uh, provider. So we always go in there and make sure that that's done before the doctor starts the visit and starts with the mm -hmm. notes. Um, so it just ha makes it helpful making it part of your workflow so it does not get missed because you're already going through the initial questions. You can uh -huh. already change it on there. So it really helps to get started before the doctor goes in there.